Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by AngPro Training from AngPro Technologies. So friends, in this class we will be discussing about the binary tree traversals. Please watch this video only after watching our previous videos on introduction to trees and binary trees. In this video, we'll be discussing about the different types of traversals that we can perform on the binary tree and the C programming code for that. Here are the different types of traversal. One is pre-order traversal, another one is in-order traversal and the last one is post-order traversal. These traversals are based on the order that we process the root node and the left subtree and the right subtree. In the pre-order traversal, first we process the root node and then we go for left subtree and right subtree. While processing the left subtree, again we first process the root node of that uh, subtree then the left node and the right node in the in order traversal first left subtree then the root node and the right subtree in the post order traversal first we traverse uh, to the left subtree and the right subtree and at last uh, the root node so here pre in and post refer to the processing the root node and the root node in every subtree right and the last thing is level order traversal. Here we process uh, the nodes at every level. We go here processing the nodes level by level. So in this video, we'll be discussing all these four types of traversals. So first let's understand the pre-order traversal. First process the root node, then traverse left subtree, then traverse right subtree. Okay, so let's considering this as our example tree. So first process the right node. Starting from this, process the root node. Okay, let's print this on the output. Okay, so this is printed. Now go to left subtree. Right? So this is the first step. So second step is traverse left subtree. Why traversal through the left subtree? Process the root node first. In this left subtree, the root node is B. So process this first. Then go for the left subtree. Here left subtree is D. So process this and process right subtree. Right? So A, B, D, E. Now left subtree is over. Go for the right subtree. So this is the third step. Here while processing the right subtree, process the root node first. Then left subtree, this one and the right subtree. So this is how we perform pre-order traversal. So let us study the code for this. Okay, before studying the C code for pre-order traversal, first define a node in the C programming code. So how we, how we can define this node? So the only way is the structure. Why structure? Because every node has got three fields, right? One field is info field, which stores the data. Next is left link which stores the address of the left subtree and another one is right link which stores the address of right subtree. I mean the right node you can say. So there are three different variables. Two are uh, pointer variables. One is data variable, integer variable, right? So how we can combine these three variables? The only way is using the structure. So here I'll use the struct keyword to define the node called BT node. BT node stands for binary tree node. So if you don't know how to define a structure, functions, pointers, please go and watch our C programming playlist uh, where, you, uh, where you'll get all the videos regarding pointers, structures and functions. So here I'm defining the structure. First integer variable called info to store the data. Next, left pointer and right pointer. So here, left and right are the pointers of type struct BT node. Again, these are going to be of the type struct BT node. Why? Because this, uh, this pointer, left pointer and right pointer, right? So this has got two pointers. This pointer is going to store the address of one more node. B, uh, here B node 
uh, here the node B is also of type struct node to store the address of a node which is also of type struct BT node this L pointer should also be of type struct BT node and the right link is a pointer which stores the address of again a node which is of type struct BT node so this should also of the type struct BT node right okay then now we are using the function called preorder which takes the address of root node right so there is a pointer called root so this pointer always points to the root node so this will store uh, this stores the address of the root node right okay I'll pass the address of root node to this function if root that means if root is not null I'm going to perform preorder traversal first printf root arrow info that means information field of this node pointed by root node that means a will be printed out and recursively I'm calling preorder function by passing root arrow left uh, root arrow left that means left link address stored in the left link and I'm recursively passing the preorder function this time root arrow right that means address stored in right link right so this is going to be performed recursively first I'll print the data stored in root arrow info that is A and this time I'm calling preorder function again I mean this is going to call itself now this time passing the address stored in left link that means the address of B right when I pass B address of B right so the B arrow info because this is referring to info field B arrow info will be printed and again I'm passing root arrow left that means address stored in left link of the B node so this time it prints D and again it is passing left arrow a uh, root arrow left that means address of address stored in left link of D so while coming to this point if root that means what what the left link of D has got null right so this will be terminated here but recursively this will happen right so only this function has got failed but this will work fine now so recursively doing so we will get the output now let us study the in order traversal in order traversal we first traverse the left subtree and we go for processing the root node and then we traverse the right subtree while uh, traversing through the left subtree first we will traverse the left subtree then the root and the right subtree so while doing so here first this second this third this right so first traverse left subtree that means come to this node and here it's again a binary tree so traverse left subtree that is D so first D comes then there is no tree associated with tree then traverse the root B traverse right subtree E then go for traversing or uh, processing A then come to this subtree here process F then process C then G right so this is the output of in order traversal so the code for this is in order which takes the address of the root node so root is a pointer which stores the address of root node here we are passing the address of root node if root if root doesn't contain null we are calling in order function so this will call itself by passing left r by passing root arrow left then we print root arrow info then again we call this function passing root arrow right that means address stored in right link of root pointer now the post order traversal here we process the root node at last first traverse left subtree then process right subtree then process the root node right while traversing through the left subtree first we will traverse left subtree then right subtree then the root node right so same with this subtree so first traverse left subtree so in the left subtree 
again process the left node that is D then come to right subtree E then go to the root node now go to the right subtree here first left then right then root and at last the root node the C code for this is post order which takes the address of root node if root is not null again call the post order by passing root arrow left again call the post order by passing root arrow right and the info field of root we are printing info field of root node of every node so now the level order traversal in the level order traversal we go processing each level at a time first uh, process the root then go to next level process left to right and repeat step 2 until the last level okay so first A then B then C then come to this level D to E E to F then G so this is level order processing or traversing one level at a time so this level first this level at the second place this level at the third place right so the code for level order is a little complex let us study that here first visit the root while traversing level L that means the next level keep all the elements in level L plus 1 in a queue so that we can process each node at a time and go to next level and visit all the nodes at that level right so we'll be discussing this with the code so here is the level order traversal code and we are using the queue if you don't know queue please go and watch our queue uh, videos in the data structure which is uh, which are there in the same playlist so this is our example a uh, tree root node has got address 1000 and 2000 for the and 2000 is the address of uh, left subtree 3000 is the address of right subtree and so on so here first it takes the address of root node okay and here we are creating a temp uh, pointer which is also of type struct bt node and we are creating the queue using the create queue function the create queue function creates a queue with certain number of nodes and returns the address of the first node which is stored in star q okay, right and uh, we have already defined the queue data structure and the function for this if you don't know please go and watch our queue playlist right if root equal to null that means if root contains null in it the root pointer contains null that means no binary tree exists return otherwise n q with q comma root that means q will be stored that means we are going to store the address stored in root inside q so thousand will be stored here because thousand is the address of the root node that will be enqueued and we are calling this while loop here so while loop will be executed until q is empty we are making use of is empty q right until this this loop will be executed first we are making use of temp so dq dq the queue and store it in temp so remove this thousand and store it in temp that means temp points to the node which has got thousand right so this will be dq'd right so printf percent d that means temp arrow info print a so i'm printing a here okay now if temp arrow left is there anything in temp arrow left yes now nq temp arrow left that is 2000 what is stored in left the address of left subtree that is 2000 nq that in q okay if temp arrow right that means is there anything in right link yes nq that in q uh, what is there in right uh, temp arrow right temp arrow right is this part right link of a node that is that has got the address of right subtree that is 3000 so nq that okay enqueued now again check is empty q no q is not empty that means uh, q has got something in it okay 
now dqq store it in temp okay so dq 2000 store it in temp that means temp points 2000 so we are coming to the next second level now here print temp arrow info temp arrow info means b print b here okay is temp arrow left is there something in temp arrow left yes so dq so nq that that means nq 4000 so 4000 comes here so remember the property of q everything is appended at the end of q that means insert at rear end is there anything in temp arrow right as it has the address of right subtree 5000 nq okay then is empty q no then dq the content of q and one at each time store it in temp so three dq 3000 that means temp now points to t uh, 3000 right so print that temp arrow info temp arrow info will be c right so now we have finished the second level now go to the next level so how we can go is there anything in temp arrow left yes uh, the address of the left subtree that is 6000 so nq that okay is there anything in uh, temp arrow right s yes. nq that okay nq now again check while is empty q no dq the content from q store it in temp dq 4000 so one at a time right store it in temp now temp will point when we store 4000 in temp temp will point this node print temp arrow info that is uh, d next is there anything in temp arrow left that means it is null if null condition fails is there anything in temp arrow right null if null also condition fails if will work only if there is other than null right okay is empty q no q is not empty dq the content from d uh, dq the content from q store it in temp dq 5000 store it in temp that means temp will point uh, to 5000 now temp will point to 5000 now okay print temp arrow info okay e now is there temp arrow left temp arrow left is null condition fails temp arrow right is null condition fails is empty q no q is not empty dq the content from q store it in temp that means 6000 now temp will point to 6000 okay print temp arrow info okay that means f is temp arrow left is null condition fails temp arrow right is null condition fails now check is empty q no q is not empty dq the content from q store it in temp that means 7000 goes and now temp will point to 7000 print temp arrow info that is g now we have finished all the levels temp arrow left is null so condition fails temp arrow right is um, null condition fails again check while condition is empty q yes q is now empty then come out of the loop dq q that uh, delete q sorry that means q will be deleted right so this is our output i hope you understood this video if you have any if you are having any doubts please comment below and rewind the video if i not got anything well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin thank you